Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. XA2 in from Fuji. Unboxing. Just got here. This comes with the XC16-50 F35-56 OIS. So it's not that nice uh, higher-end zoom that I had with the X-T1, but it'd be interesting to see. This camera was of interest to me because it has a full flip-up screen. Um, and they're billing it as like a, um, uh, let's see, Fuji X-Series 8 gig. We got a, so that's a thumb drive. Um, Toshiba 16 gig Xeria Pro card they sent with me. Fuji branded thumb drive. They should send me one of those just for my own personal use. Hint, hint. All right, there's the camera. Jeez, it almost looks like uh, this is brand new. I haven't even opened this yet, folks. So I haven't. This one I haven't charged the battery on yet. And uh, there's the lens. It's hard to tell if this is a brand new out of stock one, like they just pulled it from stock, or um, if it's actually been out before. Doesn't really look like it. So battery, about the size of my Panasonic battery for my LX100. Um, there's the little lens. What did I say this was? A 16 to 50, and that's a variable aperture 35 to 56. Let's take the camera out of the baggie. It's got a, a Fuji sticker on it, so this may be a brand new unit. So they may not have, uh, the, I may be the first one to get this. Very light and small. Here's the thing what I was uh, interested in. Look at that. Screen comes right up. Comes up, but it doesn't come up right over the body. But uh, let's see here. Comes up, so if, if you're shooting, it does You know all these levels. You can look up at it, hold it up and look up. You can hold it like you can look down at it like a view camera and then you can flip it up enough that you could see what's going on you know you could see yourself in there so cool we'll, we'll definitely want to be trying that might be good for a little bit of a vlogging camera or you know when i'm doing q and a's and viewers are writing in you guys write in you have a question that might be a great camera to take with me for good image quality um nice light and small we'll have to see how the image quality is out of the video because it hasn't typically been Fuji's strong point, but I think they're getting better and better at it. All right, uh, charger for the battery, lens hood, and um, it looks like an adapter for uh, the uh, European, the 260 or whatever, and a camera strap. So most of this stuff, I have no need of at the moment so we'll repackage this up after put this down here for now and get into the camera itself so um we got the lens here's the camera uh as typical of the x series it's a it looks like a very nice little camera um it looks, uh, it does have a hot shoe, which I think all the X-Series do, but I love that in any camera because it allows you to do off-camera flash, which is what uh, makes your photos look so much better than a total newbie who doesn't know anything but using the built-in flash or sticking his flash on the camera. So it gives you a lot of versatility in shooting, and so that's great that they have it. Hmm. Right out of the gate, I see a little speck of dust on that sensor. I'm going to have to give it a little blow off and see how it works. Okay. Um, dials up top here. We've got the uh, mode dial. So, And then we've got one other dial. So that is a difference from other Fuji X series cameras. And that this is a, um, a more cost-effective lower in the line body um so, so you know just to note it doesn't have the twin control dials there uh you know in a pro camera you got one right there that'll adjust your shutter speed and one that'll adjust your aperture it looks like we need to toggle it um although there is another little dial right here perhaps this one right here that may be the one maybe they actually do include it there so we'll have to see that once we get the battery fired up in it um like in the movable screen I really I like I like the and I guess I'm caught up because I thought this would be a cool blogging camera or vlogging camera. I always like to see if I'm doing video what like I like to be able to see the screen so that's nice. Um, on cameras like the LX100 I'm filming this with, I can look at my iPad right now 
and see what you guys are seeing. So I don't need that. Um, and that's another thing we'll have to check out. I don't remember. Does it say on the box here? Um, what the Fuji, if this uh, camera, this little XA2 is, well, it doesn't really give you a rundown of specs on the box. Uh, I'm going to have to, oh, yes it does, hang on, it's alright. So, um, what do we got here? No, just package contents. Okay, so I'm going to have to double check for you if this has built-in Wi-Fi. I think it does because it's built as a selfie camera, but let me double check on that. Um, but initial impressions, it's nicely built. Um, as expected, it's not as solid and rugged feeling as, say, the X-T1 uh, because it's not the X-T1. It's a much more effective. I think with the lens, you can get this for about five, maybe $600. i will double check that. I'll leave a link below for you if you want to check it out or even consider purchasing it. Um, the... Uh, it does say Wi-Fi right on the body here I'm seeing. So, yeah, there you go. There's the answer. It is Wi-Fi enabled. Um, buttons all seem decent, but probably not at the level of the X-T1 as far as when I had that camera. I think that camera was a work of art. Uh, but this does seem very nice. There's the uh, battery drawer, so we'll have to get that, that sucker charged and get that in there. Um, and also the, the, uh, the memory card goes into the right beside the battery in there like that. It's very similar to most smaller cameras. My LX100 is just like that. So that is the XA2. Um, very excited to try it out. This lens looks nice and small. It's quite light. That's it there. Uh, that's it fully extended. So it's a small lens, but again, it's not as small as the equivalent in a Micro Four Thirds because this is a full APS-C sensor. It's also Fuji's amazing super duper, can you, the you know that Honeycomb X Trans type sensor they have in here. Um, so a little bit bigger lens than you might find on a Micro Four Thirds, but certainly no bigger than on Sony um, or on Nikon or Canon. Um, so and then they they include a lens hood. It's always a bonus. A lot of companies aren't doing that, and it ticks me off when I get lenses and I have to go back and buy a lens hood as an additional accessory, as I think that's the company being cheap. So kudos to Fuji for including it. So overall, initial impressions, very nice on the X-A2. The, the lens here, the, the kit lens, um, it's got a, a nice, fairly smooth zoom on it. Uh, not the build quality and caliber of, as I mentioned, the, I guess it's the 2.8 to 4 um, zoom that I had with the X-T1, uh, but it still seems like a decent lens. Um, it's not, uh, I've certainly felt less quality in a, in a cheaper kit lens. Um, what will remain to be seen is how the optics are on here. Fuji lenses are known for being very good. So regardless of the build quality, it's the glass in here. We want to see how sharp it is and how it performs. So that'll be interesting too. So stay tuned. We'll be back soon with uh, some tests on the X-A2. I keep wanting to say X-T1. <laughs> and um, we'll show you, uh, probably do a little walk around on the camera once we have it going, got the batteries in, show you some image quality tests. And uh, hopefully we'll test the video too because um, I like to we'll take it down to the park when I'm playing with the kids or something and I'll do a little selfie video, a little vlogging video. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon.